Oi, my fellow comrades, this is Squidtard here. Uh, most of these noon games have come to an end, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about them. Uh, nothing, of course, nothing special here. Uh, just a bunch of big blowouts, uh, big teams blowing out inferior teams. Uh, that's just how it is. Clemson, Ohio State, and Georgia, but, uh, all three in the top four take care of much inferior teams. Uh, Georgia Tech, they are abysmal. Georgia takes care of business there. Uh, Michigan, now Michigan actually held their own for, uh, against Ohio State for a while, but talent did show, and Ohio State, yeah, did that. They're up, uh, there's six minutes in that game still, and they're up 56 to 27. I would call that game over. Uh, Georgia, they just scored again on Georgia Tech. They're up 52-7 to now. And the Clemson-South Carolina game just came to an end. Okay, so I got to start off uh, talking about South Carolina. I don't understand why in the world you guys haven't fired Will Muschamp yet. I don't understand one bit. Now, waiting till the end of the season, I guess that would make some kind of sense. But now... It's the the season has come to an end. You finish off four and eight. I don't care if you're a South Carolina fan or a non South Carolina fan or a South Carolina hater or something like that. At South Carolina, where Will Muschamp, everybody was high on Will Muschamp. Well, not every, no, everybody outside of South Carolina was making fun of Will Muschamp. But no, South Carolina fans they were high on Will Muschamp. They thought they were still going to a bowl game. So, yes, you did not fulfill the expectations of most South Carolina fans. Not to mention the fact that you come out, you beat Georgia. So, that's the only thing you... That's literally the only thing you have. Going into the season, The o literally the only thing you had was... Let's see. There, there were only two things you had. One, that... uh. Actually, now that I take that back, I was going to talk about, um, there's three things that's probably keeping uh, the career of Will Muschamp alive. The first thing is you beat Kentucky. Uh, congratulations, by the way. So you got that. You did that. You beat Kentucky. Uh, you held on against Alabama and you beat Georgia. That That's really the only three things that's keeping your uh, Will Muschamp's career at South Carolina alive. Not to mention the fact that you got you you lost to Florida. You lost by 20 to Tennessee, which losing by that much. No, if you're a South Carolina fan and you lose by 20 to Tennessee, it, game over for you. Will Muschamp. Everyone's before that game. Everyone was talking about D we're, we're undefeated. Will Muschamp's undefeated against Tennessee. Not to mention half of those losses, I mean half of those uh, wins were at Florida, but uh, South Carolina, they're undefeated against Tennessee, Will Muschamp undefeated against Tennessee. You come out and get blown out by Tennessee, and now it's just going to be the same old, same old again. Tennessee is far beyond you now, and they are, continue, they are going to continue to stomp you every year. The only way you can prevent that from happening, the, and the only way you can prevent your 2020 schedule from being the same exact thing, if not worse, than this year, is if you fire Will Muschamp. I mean, I'm just... You know, you hate to see it. I mean, you really do. You hate to see it. I hope Will Muschamp can find a job somewhere else, maybe as a defensive coordinator or something like that, because he's a pretty good uh, defensive coordinator. He's just... He's not head coach material, so... Um, I think you, you should probably, uh, I mean, if you want my honest opinion, I'd say get rid of Muschamp, but I don't know. I don't know if y'all are going to do that. We lost to App State. We they're ranked. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me go ahead and cover some of these other teams real fast. Uh, and, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, my, uh, my voice sounds a little bit sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sick. I'm kind of nasally. Uh, I don't know yet if I'll go to the Tennessee Tap House today for the Tennessee Vandy game, but if so, you'll see me there. Uh, let's see. Well, with Georgia's blowout win over Georgia Tech, does uh, 
Does anybody believe that they're going to be at LSU? I th- I honestly think that game will be a close one. But I, I won't sit here and cover it because I can cover it in the Squid Tar podcast. Uh, but yeah, the Tennessee Vandy game starts shortly. Uh, some of these other big games uh, are coming up real soon. Uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Bama, Auburn. I'll, I'll have coverage on all of these games coming up later. But I'll see you guys later. And uh, power to Tardaria. Go Vols. Beep, beep, beep.